Another victim of a man charged with kidnapping a pregnant woman and holding her against her will in a locked garage has come forward. ABC 13's Jessica Willie is live with the new allegations. And Jessica, well, this seems to be a continuation of a bizarre scene that we witnessed last month. Yeah, Eric Houston police spent hours at Lee Carter's house early last month waiting on a warrant to make sure no one else was being held hostage inside. His alleged victim had already escaped. Well, tonight, another woman says he did the same thing to her and he is scheduled to be in court here tomorrow morning to face new charges. 52 year old Lee Carter calls himself the rapper Viper on social media. In court records, he is a real estate broker. His attorney says he's studying for his MBA. Last month, he was arrested and charged with aggravated kidnapping of one woman. Tonight, another woman says he kidnapped and sexually assaulted her, too. According to court records, Carter abducted the woman and held her against her will with the intent to violate and abuse her sexually. It happened in July 2021. The charges filed today. We were very concerned that there could have been somebody in there that needed immediate assistance. Last month, police spent hours at Carter's neglected Southside home, making sure no one else was locked inside. After breaking down the door, they found only a dog. Court records state the initial victim told police she was pregnant and panhandling when Carter picked her up. He locked her inside the garage, she said, forced her to have sex and drugged her for as long as five years. This neighbor once saw her escape. Uh, right then, as the cops are standing at my door, a gal comes crawling out that window just there with the boards over it, uh, just clawing her way out, pregnant, eight months. Last April, she escaped for good and told police she often heard Carter arguing with other women in the house. Carter's attorney has denied the allegations. Tonight, he remains in jail, his bond revoked after calling the victim a violation of a no-contact order.